March is coming, and March on Booktube means March of the Mammoths. Hello, my name is Jim, and this is my Booktube channel about books, reading, and stuff. So what is March of the Mammoths? A mammoth in Booktube is any book which is longer than 800 pages. The last mammoth I read was Anna Karenina. This was back in 2021. This weighs in at 806 pages. Other editions will weigh in at different numbers of pages, but this is a mammoth. It's a big book, a lengthy book. The idea of March the Mammoth is that by reading a large book, we'll get a more enriched reading experience. This is the era of social media and many distractions and we tend to favour shorter books. In my last video I talked about my comfort zone and I have a comfort zone for reading as well. Books between 250 and 400 pages about this size are what I feel comfortable reading, also comfortable holding, it's not too heavy. Anything shorter than 250 pages and I, the story's finished before it's almost started. But this is a comfortable size for me. March of the Mammoths will be hosted this year by Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Verse and by Al, Alex at Big Owl Books. Last year I didn't read a single mammoth by the 800 page plus definitions. I did read Bleak House. This edition of Bleak House comes in at 760 pages. There are some editions of Bleak House which are over a thousand. Um, but so I finished this in November. It took me two months to read. If you take part in March of the Mammoths, you don't have to read the whole mammoth in the month of March. The idea is just to make a big dent in your mammoth. Also, last year I read four books that were around 700 pages. Another Dickens I read was Little Dorrit. This one took me six months. This is 778 pages. I also read Knights of Plague by Oren Pamuk, which is 704 pages. My review of that was my most viewed one minute review. It's had over 270 views up to this time. And I also read Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks, which is 732 pages. Elliot Brooks is another booktuber. Peace and Turmoil is an epic fantasy. So I'll show you the possibilities I have for this month's, or this year's March of the Mammoths. Dickens again, Martin Chuzzlewit. Yes, I now just have three of Dickens' Completed novels to finish. Martin Chuzzlewit, this edition weighs in just at 802 pages. 802. So it's just a mammoth. It's just over the limit for a mammoth. I also have this chunker here. This is very daunting. Cryptonomicon. This version is 910 pages, although I've seen there are some versions of Cryptonomicon which are 1,152 pages. This is something of a mammoth. The other two I have on Kindle, there's Stalin, The Court of the Red Tsar by Simon Seabag Montefiore. I read and enjoyed Young Stalin. Stalin, The Court of the Red Tsar weighs in 850 pages. And I've already read 370 of those. I started it in January, so I can continue with that in March. And the fourth book I have is The Ember Blade, which is an epic fantasy, which was recommended by one of the fantasy YouTubers. I can't remember now whether it's Murphy Napier or Elliot Brooks, but they really enjoyed it and raved about it, so, and the Emperor Blade weighs in at 826 pages. So those are my mammoths, my mammoth possibilities. I'll put a poll on my community tab, you can 
tell me which one you think I should read of the four. Are you taking part in March the Mammoths? Do you have any mammoths on your shelves you'd like to read? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you can like. This will help me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.